guys, how are you this morning? I'm out deja vu kind of from yesterday out on a ride. Same road as where I did the intro yesterday. Hoping to have filmed a load more of the ride today, but unfortunately as you can probably see the weather is not playing game. Uh, it starts raining as I speak, you can probably see on my glasses. A few raindrops. Not heavy enough yet to get the uh, rain jersey out. But um, equally not looking too clever at all, so we'll see how it goes. I'll film what I can, and I'll see you guys as we go. Hello guys, as you can see weather is not improved at all. Um, my camera is soaking wet as well because the bag has a hole in it. I'm leaning now because I'm using this foam box for cover. Like, it's something I want to show you anyway, and given that the weather's crap, it's probably all about I'll be able to show you. How cool is this though? Like. A little library in a phone box basically, any of those books that you fancy. I'm not going to say where I am on the internet, out of respect for the villagers who live here and clearly trust each other and I'm sure there's people out there who aren't trustworthy enough to know where this is so uh, but yeah pretty cool, nice that there's still communities around there that do stuff like this. So I'm two minutes, well five minutes further on from when I filmed that last shot, come from over the other side of that hill, heading up this hill, on the way back home, drops into my little gear and my chains fell off. Now normally that wouldn't be a massive issue aside from the fact that it's come off and bought it round inside it all and it's fucking jammed. So I'm currently about 20 miles away from home. I've got a chain that that stuck if I would have done it at home I'd have left it because I can't be asked to get it out. <sighs> Gotta love cycling, at least the countryside's nice. And it stopped raining, that's a bonus too. Better crack on anyway. Hello guys, so chains back on. God knows what happened there, it's jumping all over the place now as well, but I'll sort that out when I'm home. Uh, I can get it on the stand, I can't actually see, you can probably see these are steaming up. Got these buggers back here though. I may not be pointing wrong, I'll look at them in the road now. Let's go say hi. After getting pretty stressed out my chain, this sort of cheers me up a bit seeing stuff like this. Reminds you why you're on your bike in the first place. Let's go see him. Not quite mountain goats, but nearest we get in Yorkshire. Little buggers causing chaos. <laughs> Hello guys, back at home. All in all, pretty enjoyable ride. Uh, my Garmin's playing up, which is pretty frustrating. That the heart rate monitor went a long time ago today. I was going uphill and it was saying I was going downhill. So my Garmin to people who don't cycle like you compute with it tells you what you're doing. So it's pretty frustrating because it's really nice to know exactly what you're doing. You get so used to relying on it and it telling you where you are, what you're doing, etc. Um, and it's just playing up. So I'm starting to wonder if I got a fake or something, but I bought it from a legit store, so it'd be strange if I did, but who knows, who knows. Have a play around with it, I'll do some Googling and see if we can sort it out. I need to sort my chain out too. As you can see, still spitting slightly, it's not too heavy, but it's enough to stop me doing half of the stuff outside that I wanted to do today. Uh, which is kind of good in, because I need to get stuff done, but kind of good, because it means I can do some of the inside stuff, I've had so much to do anyway. So let's go get some food inside me and crack on. Back again, one last thing. I just wanted to say how this gel bar I got yesterday is... Oh no, it wasn't the one I got yesterday, I took a science since bought one. It was orange flavour, it was actually really good, I took it about 30 minutes before home. I'd say it did what it said, about 20-30 minutes of energy, got me back. Didn't taste too bad either and it's not done anything bad to my stomach, so that's good to know. Uh, if you ever are into any sort of sport where you might want to say this, so running, cycling, the best thing to do is try loads because they do different things for different people, some upset some people's stomach, etc. But science and sport have a pretty good reputation. Uh, I got the OTE one yesterday, so I'll try that out in the near future and I'll let you know what I think of that one too. So, the best part, best part about doing a big ride is getting home and eating exactly what you want. 
Um, absolutely starving, so beans on toast, just doing it for me right now. Uh, with French bread though, and HP sauce. What I said about productivity is probably going to go out of the way though, as what this is, and you probably can't see from there, is the World Surf League events on today in J Bay. So, <sighs> nothing is going to get done today. Hello guys, so I am on the road again. Yeah, I'm back on two wheels, as you may see. Uh, Amy, I got a touch from Amy while I was out doing my bike ride. That I only just got back obviously once I was home, telling me that I she'd had a call from my hairdresser saying I'd missed an appointment, which I'm really gutted about because I'm normally quite proud of the fact that I'm normally on time and don't miss it. So, pretty good about that, but they've kindly rebooked me in now. And if anything, I'm probably running a touch late for that now as well, which is again double gutting. But it's starting to rain again, so I'm going to put the camera away. See you again in a moment. Has been chopped. Now I'm going to head over to Boys in Aiken to grab me some staple guns so I can do some DIY. Love the DIY section of this shop. Always want to buy loads of pointless stuff. Let's take what I need. Perfect. I swear to God, every time I've stepped outside today, it has started raining. Even now on the way back, it tried to start spitting. It's just about dry enough to film this, but it's a good job. I don't mind the rain, innit? Surfing's finished for the day. Oh, windows open. You probably can't hear what I'm saying. There you go. Surfing's finished for the day, so we are now heading to some shops to do some DIY type shopping. Heading. No, you don't want to know where we are. We're off to be in Cuity Musner. And then some other places around there. See what we can find. One shop down, went in for self leveling cement, walked out of a hedge trimmer. So, half success. See what else we can buy that we don't need. Might think it's one of the largest parts. Oh, yeah. It's about 35, isn't it? Yeah. Ooh, do I need a pad box to my bag? Not one like that. Weird. <laughs> 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 They've got bike stuff down there though. Sure. So guys, just about to wrap things up for the day. Got distracted as always when I'm shopping. End up buying these on show and share because anyone who cycles, I know this has kind of been really cycly vlog so far. It won't always be really cycly. It's just that the last two days, that's all I've done. Um, which is quite rare because for ages I haven't done much. So, But I want to share these uh, when I was out and about. I usually buy the muck off stuff, which has been great, it's really good, but saw these in Wilco, Wilkinson's. So that's just bike cleaner basically. Then you got this citrus degreaser stuff as well. So the, they were way cheaper than the muck off. I can't remember how much they were, and I can't remember how much the muck off ones were, but they were way cheaper than the actual ones that I'd normally get. So I'll let you know how they want to use them, but just a heads up anyone who buys that sort of thing, but they're in there really cheap. Uh, sorry about the background at the moment, I'm in our sort of garage outhouse, my sort of toys playroom area, I've got surfboards, bodyboards, bikes everywhere. Bit of a tip, but cheers for watching, I'll see you guys tomorrow.